Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I came across a few people who claimed that the PAL egg machine in Puzzle and Dragons is completely useless, all they roll is garbage, da 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 all that. Well, it kind of inspired me to make a video on the best way to spend your PAL points to maximize what you get out of the machine. So a lot of people, I guess they have OCD or something, whenever they see a one down there at the PAL egg machine, they instantly roll or they'll save it for 10 and just roll all 10 at once. But the same rule applies to the PAL egg machine as it does to the rare egg machine. For the rare egg machine, you do not roll it outside of a Godfest or a carnival. Just It depends on what you want to get. For the PAL egg machine, you do not roll it outside of an event. So in Puzzle & Dragons, you have these events that go on every other week. Some go on for two weeks or whatever. Um, and during these events, something will happen to the PAL egg machine. There are times where Super King Dragons will show up in the PAL machine. There are other times where Tamadra will be included in the PAL egg machine, the little guy you use to awaken your monsters. It's always a fun time whenever he pops out of the machine. And there are times where it will say Rare Eva materials now in the PAL machine. So you really want to hold off on spending your PAL points until these events come around. So whenever there's nothing in the pal machine going on just don't roll it you know let the numbers stack up and then when an event rolls around you just spend all of your points on the pal machine and you will get good things at the beginning of this video you saw i had 50 total pulls i maxed out all of my pal points and i waited for an event to come around this was actually on the first day of an event i spent all of those points and as you saw i rolled a ton of dragons and i think during the entire event, I rolled about 15 total dragons, and that is a lot of experience that I ultimately got for free just by playing the game. Just I saved my power points and I used them at the correct time, and I was rewarded for it. So my favorite time to roll the Pal Egg Machine is when there is the Super King Dragons in the Pal Egg Machine, because it's just a ton of free experience. However, I definitely do not mind when rare Eva materials show up in the Pal Egg Machine. We're gonna switch over to some footage I recorded today. And this is an event where PAL points can directly translate to stamina. The last pull here is Keeper of the Red. And I would have to spend 25 stamina on a Tuesday in order to get that monster. So now that 25 stamina can be better spent elsewhere. And here the gold egg I rolled is the Keeper of the Rainbow. And that's 30 stamina on a Tuesday. And it's not even a guaranteed drop unless during an event week where the Tuesday dungeon is at a two times drop rate. The exact same thing can be said for the Super King Dragons. They have their own specialized dungeons that cost 50 stamina, and you go in there and you catch the big dragons and you can use them to power up your monsters quicker. So in closing, the Pal Egg Machine can drastically speed up your performance in your Puzzle and Dragons adventure as long as you use it at the correct time. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Leave a comment if you wish. I read all of them, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.